per someone's request, I wanted to explain the difference between one, address payable, two, payable address, and three, the payable modifier. Starting with number one, for example, address payable owner. This is a data type, like address, a valid Ethereum address, except that a contract can send Ether to an address payable, but not to an address, because address payable has access to transfer, send, and call. So in a function, you can do this, but you can't do this. And making the function payable itself has no effect on that, but we'll come back to that in a sec. Why not just make all addresses address payables? Well, it's a general principle in software engineering to give objects as little scope as possible for them to function. Two, payable and pass it an address. This is the easy one. In this case, address is like our old owner basic address above. Payable old owner casts our basic address into a payable type. So this is now address payable and you can send it ether. And thirdly, the payable modifier. This is added to a function like this. And this allows the function to receive ether in transactions sent to the contract. So assuming I'd done the proper setup, I could write some JavaScript in a truffle.js file like this and the contract would be able to receive that ether via this function, which has payable. Without payable, a function cannot receive ether. And there you have it, address payable, payable address, and the payable modifier. I hope that made sense. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe.